Look at you. Are the ties too tight? I told her to make them a little tight, but you look like you're struggling. Just calm down. You look a little cute when you're panicked, but you know I love you. I would never hurt you, okay? I just have some questions because the other week went so well, but you decided to run off. I don't know what you were thinking. Um, I know everyone gets cold feet though, so it's okay. It's okay. I just, I want to make sure it doesn't happen again. So I have some special questions for you to make sure that I'm fully equipped in the instances that it just worried and concerned so I'm so happy you're back here with me but I do have to ask where have you been yeah no 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 I know where they found you but where have you been before that yeah no you can tell me what you did later I'm sure it was very exciting and riveting but just location You know, I should've checked there. That was on me. You knew that I could've found you there. You just wanted me to find you. Okay, so, I know that sweet Jazzy has tied you up, but um, which of my little friends found you first? I just wanna make sure that I give them a sincere thank you for bringing you back to me. You should thank them too. I know that you got a little bit of cold feet, but look at our home. I would have gone to find you myself, but I was so excited to set everything up. And I had to look pretty for when you came back and I just wasn't ready. So I had some errand runners. Um, but which one? You don't know. Okay, I'll ask, no worries. Let's hope you don't have to meet them again soon. Um, okay. Now for the fun stuff. What is the most embarrassing thing that you've ever done? Not that you could do anything embarrassing because you're so cute. But just think real hard. Anything that comes to mind. That really, like, you would not want to get it. That is bad. That is not great. Um, you could give someone who is not so serious about you the ick with that one, but I get it. We all make mistakes, so it's kind of weird, but don't worry about it. We all do some, some crazy things. Yeah, you still love me. So my next question is, what is your new phone password? Yeah, I know that you changed it keeping me on my toes, but I am gonna need that, yeah. And if you change it again, see what happens. Okay. I don't like playing the same game twice. Okay. Awesome. Oh, and your iCloud password. Just in case. You're being so sweet and cooperative. And, um, if I find out you're lying, I will make things tighter. So, just make it easy on yourself. Okay, baby? What's your old dog's name? How cute. That was gonna be my next guess. 
but thank you for making that so easy on me. Now I need to know your deepest, darkest secret. You'll know mine eventually, so we'll be even. It's just about getting to know each other and trust, okay? guess that. No, I'm not scared. I was gonna hurry. Good to know. But what else are you hiding? Like, in here? Nothing? Oh, that's so cute. I will figure it out eventually, so. Oh, have you ever been tied up like this before? For fun or, you know, other ways. Yeah, you don't really seem like you're enjoying this, but some people do, so. Maybe under different circumstances. Good to know. So I did pay your parents a visit. Did they like me? Yeah, 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 it was super sweet. Yeah, I know. I brought them all their favorite things, told them what they wanted to hear. It was so sweet. Yeah, I expect a text from them in the next couple days. Yeah, I told your mother I had to have lunch with her and join her book club. Hello. I always have to find her things in life. I'm so glad to hear. Um, who outside of this apartment, aka me, would know if you took a long vacation? If you just, you know, were on a private island with me, no cell service, no one to contact, who would know? Like, who do I have to take care of and let know in case I want to plan something? Of course, of course. Anyone else? Okay, just checking, just checking. Because I would want to plan accordingly. Don't want anyone to worry. Um, have you lied to a partner before? You have. A long time ago, yeah. Don't do that to me. Don't do that to me. You must not have loved them. Like you love me, so I'm glad that we've been so honest thus far. Okay, um, where exactly were you trying to go? No, I know you did say where we found you, or I do know where we found you. You did say where you have been, but where were you off to? Hmm, you didn't know, you were just going. Really? So if I check your American Airlines, there's not going to be a flight to get there? Okay. Have you ever broken someone's heart before? You seem like a little heartbreaker because you're so cute. But, uh, have you ever broken their heart, shattered it, didn't let them know, and communicate ahead of time your feelings, and then just left them in the blue? No. Oh, sweet pie. And I know I don't have to worry about that, but it would just suck to know that someone else lost you and was really broken up about it. Um, are you scared of commitment? I guess we already know that it's gonna take a kind of cold feet, but like long term commitment, like now, once we've moved past that little incident, are you still still feeling a little scared? Shaking in your boots a little. I tease. I tease. I don't care if you're a scared cat. I am resilient enough for the both of us. No, I don't have any fears. Yeah. Okay. Past this a long time ago. If I searched your place, would I find anything that I didn't like? Hmm. 
Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Because I have searched it. And I did find something I didn't like. But we can discuss that later. We can discuss that later. Is this okay? I just need to know who Amanda is. Because I found a little about her. Hmm, what is the most desperate thing you've ever done? In the name of love. Okay. Okay. That doesn't seem that desperate to me, but you must not have really, really loved somebody. I know what it's like to really, really love. It's so lovely. But I'm not desperate. Everybody loves me. Which of your friends would try to break us up? I have someone in mind. Don't make me ask. I'm sure they are very nice. Because you only attract lovely, amazing people into your life. I just want to keep an eye on them. Let's see, what is your therapist's contact info? I just want to make sure we're on good terms, you know? Yeah, no, I love therapy. I think it's great that you're in therapy. I just don't want your therapist knowing anything that I don't. Because we don't keep secrets. Do we? Mm, that's what I thought. You're so sweet. You're so sweet. Mm, would you die for me? Is that a third date question? Silly me. I know, I feel like you have to be married first, you know, till death do us part. <laughs> but we're like so close. I don't so again. <laughs> I'm just asking a little bit. No worries, no worries. Yeah, you can think on it though. I would die. may have to prove that you're not going to run away. <laughs> I can't think so. Hmm. Is this your way of getting my attention? <laughs> that is, see, I told them, I told them, I told all my little friends that you care so deeply about me and you just wanted me to like chase you a little bit. <laughs> I love a good chase. Well, I don't love anybody you chase. Just you. <laughs> but, no, that was fun. It did worry me. Because it became not fun. <laughs> but, you know, sometimes you just have to know where to draw the line. So, no worries. Just know for next time. <laughs> um, at what date <laughs> would you like to get a little bit more serious? I know I've been like interrogating you a little bit in this particular date, the last one. I had lots of good questions for you, um, but you know, we can spend some more like a personal intimate time getting to know each other. So I was just curious which, you know, which date that would be. Oh, you don't know, sometime in the future. We'll see, those things come naturally, those things come so naturally. And I'm just trying to keep my hands off you. You have to keep your hands off me because you're so tied up. But <laughs> I will be patient. I will wait for you. Um, you know, just some like nitty gritty stuff to know more about you. Um do you know any Morse code? I didn't think so in my school don't, but like an instance that you needed to communicate with somebody you would like wouldn't know any more scope. Okay, good to know. Yeah, no, not necessary. I will never communicate with you any more scope. That would be so silly. So you don't even need to know it. You don't even need to know. Just checking. <laughs> Have you ever stolen anything? Uh, see, you're 
You little liar. You little liar. I told you not to lie to me because you absolutely stole my heart. <laughs> you know, you've done it. You've done it. This day, the last day, the whole time we were looking for you. Stolen. <laughs> You're guilty. So, that was like a cutesy little lie though because you already knew I knew better. Um, what's your locksmith's name? Yeah, I tried to get in touch with somebody, but I couldn't figure it out. Um, so if I just was on a first name basis with them, it would be a little bit easier. Yeah. That's a great name. <laughs> but we're gonna be friends. Love that. Maybe I can, like, bake them cookies or something. Oh, I love baking, you know that. Um, have you ever been involved in an affair? Hmm. Okay. Okay, it's never been anybody's, like, side piece. <laughs> yeah, no, no, no. You will always be my maid. And you should be everybody's maid. I just was making sure, you know, things happen. Things should never happen again if they had. But I didn't think that you would be anyone's number two. Because you were, if there was something higher than number one, you would be that for me. <laughs> um, do you regret making me worry? Yeah, yeah, I thought so. Why wouldn't you? That would be so silly. <laughs> but I just want to make sure that you felt bad and that you are never gonna do it again. Yeah. Just making sure. Because you scared me. Have you ever lied to get out of a situation? Like, you're a little stuck on something and you just tell a little fib. Mm -hmm. So like right now, you wouldn't be lying to me. No, 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 I know you wouldn't lie to me. Just checking, just checking, you know, because you did run off. So, it just scared me a little bit. You don't want my heart to be broken, do you? <laughs> Look at this face. Making me cry. Making me angry. Yeah. That wouldn't be a good look. Um, okay. Now then, I know we're like, locked. <laughs> when do you want to get married? <laughs> now I know you have to propose first, but like, I don't know what's coming up, so. <laughs> Ideally, what month? date would you like to get married? I'm more of a spring wedding person. Yeah, then my dress would be better for spring. Oh, I did get it. Yeah. I haven't showed your mom yet, but I know she's gonna love it, so don't even worry. <laughs> but, uh, spring ideally. So, yeah, no, I know that's coming up, but I figured a quick engagement, because we're so excited. <laughs> oh, we can play all the details later. No need. Don't worry about it. Um, how much money is in your wallet right now, currently, in your pocket? <laughs> you were out all week and you only had that much in your pocket. But if you see you need money, I can just give you money. Yeah, I have an abundance of it. It just kind of like finds its way to me. Yeah. In different ways. Yeah, but if you ever need money, just come to me. I love you. I'll keep you safe. I'll keep you all spoiled. Don't even worry about it. Yeah, but I expect the same treatment. Yeah. Okay. Mm, what banks do you use? Speaking of which, like Wells Fargo, Bank of America, Truist. Okay, just the one. No, like secret things in the Cayman Islands or anything that I should know about. <laughs> to know. Do any of your exes have um, an OF? Do they post on there and have things online for anyone who is looking to see? No? Yeah. If that makes sense, you wouldn't know. I would. I just wanted to see what you said. 
What is your Wi-Fi router? Like, do you know the the number or anything? You know, in the instance it breaks or anything, and I have to do a little tweaking. Okay, cool. No, I can. I will just call and ask them. Don't even worry about it. I don't want to make more work on my baby. <laughs> Have you ever been involved in a scandal? Well, how scandalous. I know you can be a little scandalous, but like, you know, on the news or anything. No. Okay. Yeah, I, I didn't see any, but, you know, sometimes people have like little aliases and things and I want to make sure I'm not missing anything. I want to know everything about you. Me, Scandal? Mm -mm. No. I watch the show, but you know, nothing crazy. Nothing crazy. You know me, so low key. Flying under the radar. <laughs> what sort of rational fear you have? Yeah, see, that's not really irrational. Like, everybody, everybody's here left. <laughs> I know I am. But, um, I'm kidding. I'm not scared of anything. But, you know, I try to be empathetic. Um, but, like, a truly, like, ugh, no one understands why you're afraid of that one. Really? <laughs> that? Like how, on a scale of 1 to 10, like how afraid of that? Okay. Yeah, no, I won't keep it around. Unless I need to. <laughs> um, what security system do you use? Okay. Yeah, that's, that's what I thought. It seemed familiar. Yeah, no. I mean, it was kind of run of the mill, like step by step. Got in pretty easy, but I was just curious because... I want any updates in case it changes. Yeah. Yep, yep. You know, it's got to check on those things. Um, on what day do you pay your electric bill? I know it's not really important, but it is. So, do you remember? Or do I just need to check the credit card box? Credit card box. Okay, yeah. I've got to look into this anyways. Don't you worry. Are you allergic to any foods? Anything I shouldn't bring around you? I kill you? No, no, sweet pea. I would never hurt you. This is preventative. Because if anybody else tried to hurt you, I would make sure that they never got near you again. So, yeah. Yeah, just for prep and safety. So I can keep you safe. Mm, do you apologize after fights? Yeah, you seem like such a sweet. You seem like such a sweet pie. You would apologize. You did apologize very quickly after Jesse found you, or Jesse tied you up. You were saying all kinds of stories. Um, so I do appreciate that. That was very sweet. But I just want to make sure, even if we got in, like a little tiff in the future, that you would, you know, make sure to say sorry because would be your fault, so. Yeah, no, 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 no. I say sorry when it is my fault. Um, to your knowledge, have you ever been hexed? You seem clear, clear as day. Just want to make sure, you know, because that would be something I needed to talk to some friends about. I don't really know how to undo them, I just know how to do them, you know what I mean? <laughs> practice. Um, what is the worst thing you've ever been caught doing? Besides, you know, <laughs> sneaking off. Like, anything in, like, your private life. Um, at work. <laughs> no, dude. I knew what I was getting into. <laughs> Speaking of which, read me your search history real quick. You can't pull out your phone. Damn. Yeah, no, I do have it. And your hands are all tied up. But I'll take a look at it. Anything to your memory that you remember? So 
switching up that I need to know about. You know? No? You can't remember? Okay. Well, I will look. So, if it pops into your head before I get the chance to see, you might want to just tell me. That'd be easy. But I'm sure it's nothing. I'm sure it's nothing. Are you envious of anyone? Jealous of any of my, like, past flings? <laughs> yeah, no. None of them are... None of them are you. So you shouldn't be worried. Plus, they're, um, not gone. So, you don't have to worry about them. Don't you worry. But, you're not really... Yeah, no, you shouldn't be. Look at you. You're top-notch. They have nothing on you. Um, what is the riskiest thing you've ever done for love? Yeah. Yeah, no. That's, again, you must not have really, really loved somebody because... I've loved, and love doesn't seem very risky, but I'm willing to take risks for the people that I care about, so I know that you do the same for me, and only me. <laughs> do you own any other property? Like any other houses, apartments, do you rent anywhere else? Yeah, so like you go on like vacation or something, does the two of you? No? Oh, we should change that. I have some really cute private locations that would let Bob a little romantic getaway. <laughs> um, let's bring it down a notch. Why don't you share with me, like, an intimate detail? Yeah, I know I've asked you some things, but, like, anything you want to share with me that I don't already know? Mm, you have to think on it. Really, I haven't asked you that many things, so I feel like something should pop to mind, but maybe you want to tell me another time. Whisper in my ear a little bit. I get you. I get you. Well, think on that. I'll be ready. Do you believe in revenge? No. Oh. Sweetie pie. Yeah, see, I knew that. I don't either. I don't believe in getting revenge. I think it's completely silly and unnecessary. You can just do things because you love somebody, but, you know, once they're, they're gone, they're gone, you know? I believe in leaving things at peace, you know? Everyone deserves to rest in peace. <laughs> um, do you like fantasies? Like, ugh, you know? Or even like, I don't know, for work or something, you're like, I'm setting goals. <laughs> no, I don't make up fantasies. I like to think of it like manifesting. Like, I think of little planes in my mind and I just make it happen. And they always happen. Yeah, I have a lot of, I have a lot of luck on my side. And friends. And people in the government. But everything seems to work out in my favor, so I don't really have to fantasize about anything. I always get what I want. Like you. <laughs> what would you do if someone tried to, theoretically, arrest me? Post my bail, break me out, come visit me, sneak me a little something. Yeah, no. That's what I thought. That's so sweet of you. But I will make you sign a contract at some point. Not that I think I'm ever gonna get arrested, but you know, just for safety purposes, if I ever had to do anything to like save you or protect you and the law wasn't on our side. You know how our justice system is. <laughs> Where do you put your spare key? I wasn't able to find it. I know, I know. Must have misplaced it. Yeah. No, yeah, I didn't see it in your pockets, no. Okay, I, I guess when you said you had a spare, but I'll just talk to that locksmith that you told me about, so. No worries about it. What was their name? Robin? Oh, so cute. Yeah, I'll be talking to her then. Um, are you ready to tell me?
tell me that you love me. I know that you've been waiting for like a special time and maybe I should untie you first so you can like caress my cheeks and look in deep into my eyes and tell me but how are we feeling about that? <sighs> I took the breath out of you. I know. Oh. No, okay. I'm sorry. No pressure. No pressure. You know how I feel. But I would never force anyone to say it. I know you feel it. And words come at different times. Don't you worry, you cutie. Um, but what will you do for me if I let you go? You're gonna tell me sweet things and not escape and help me clean the house and be a good partner, right? Yeah, like we agreed. That seems fitting. I think that that's a wonderful compromise. Maybe you can give me a little kiss and we can have a nice dinner tonight. Yeah, no. Here. Yeah, no, we're not leaving. But uh, I think that's extremely acceptable. So let me just get the wire cutters, um, all those, you know, little tools, and I will get you out of there in 30 minutes max. Yeah. Yeah, no, no. And uh, that way I can be a little close to you. <laughs> and uh, you can shake out your wrist like that and uh, we'll be good to go ah, thank you so much for doing this for me you know I just care about your safety and how you're doing but now that we are all set I'm so happy that everything is good between us again <laughs> yeah now let me grab those things and you just stay put you stay put don't make me go jazzy again okay 